Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mikas for WeMakeDanceMusic.com. Today I'm doing a tutorial on mastering a deep tech house track with a mastering chain. This is a mastering chain that I specially prepare for a more deeper, techier sound. You can buy it right now for five bucks on the side. This will help you a lot to have better masters. If you have the Waves plugin installed, you're probably gonna have all those plugins. Just open it. Put your main track here, maybe put a reference track to compare the loudness while you're mastering it. It's pretty much foolproof, it's very flexible, so I'm gonna start right now. It's simply, we're at zero. It's like the dorometer here, see, I'm at like average minus 20, which is pretty low. We're gonna bring it up to average minus 8 to minus 10, which is loud, but not too loud because I don't want to destroy the track, you know, I want to still leave some rooms and dynamics, so gonna work well on all sound systems so bass is kicking in here I start this track here with a little bit of adjustment on the bass because on the original project when I made it the bass was really chunky I liked it but for mastering purpose I dropped the bass quite a bit with the really nice uh, Rec 6 EQ to start it then I'm going just take off the peak and get a little bit of loudness with two decibel of reduction with like a L3 Ultra Maximizer, which is a great, great plugin. Then we're going into a plugin that I really, really like. It's simply a Lin MB. It's a linear multi-band compressor and all the bands are independent, so it's all doing its work. You can see it's working a little more on the low end here. When it's gonna go into breakdown, it's gonna work strictly on what is needed to do. It's a setup that I've made myself that I work on for a couple of years. It's working very well. It's not crushing anything. It's just making everything nice and super smooth. All right, and we're gonna keep on going. Okay, that's like the metronome on there. Whoops. All right, we're continuing here with the center, which is a great plugin to put a little more, more side, create some whiteness into the track without really, really changing the program itself. I do like to add a little bit more whiteness to it, so here you go. Get a Quick 6 here that is an EQ that we're actually using more as a limiter than an EQ. It's going really fast, it's really adding that nice envelope like to all the sound to make it nice and chuggy. Really love that plugin. It's another way point out. Now we're going into the SSLG channel where I'm doing some summing at some point because the input here was too loud coming out of the SSLG. And you know, I wanted to make sure I'm not clipping. I mean, I can clip up to 12 dB in digital when you run in like 24 bit, like like 96,000 hertz. But you still want to be careful not to destroy the program because there's some plugins that don't take very well, you know, over over the limit. This all the way plugin, no problem. I keep on going here, adding some loudness, not too much. I would say it's very light, it's just touching the peaks here. But you can see here that we're, we're getting into the right region, it's good. This is the final touch. Legendary compressor. Solid state logic SSL comp. It's compressing, but still again, not heavily. I still leave some room. I don't want to crush the track. I still have some room. I mean, with the club these days, they get big EQs, big compressors. If you come with material, it's already super compressed. It's gonna get crushed, it will not sound too good, so you always have to leave some room, you know? So, this was my time for today. I know I talk a lot over the track. If you want, this is my next track. It's called Dynamic. It will get released on Progressive Grooves. You can even download the whole project files on uh, WeMakeDanceMusic.com. Groovy, it's tacky, it's Logic Pro 10, couple VSTs, great tracks, so if you want to remix it, it's up for grabs, so cheers everybody and hope you enjoyed that little tutorial.